Denise Gwen reading aloud from my novella, Goddess, chapter 23. Very well then, Lady Venus said, and now it's time for us to embark upon our journey. Maddie startled out of her reverie. What's happened? As Lady Venus held her to her chest, Maddie looked down and saw a lot of activity taking place on the slate apron surrounding the fountain. Oh dear, she said, what's going on? They're taking you to the hospital, Lady Venus said. Madeline had been so distracted, she'd failed to pay attention to the crumpled form on the flagstones. But people had been working away on her all this time as she'd been talking to Lady Venus. She watched in fascination as paramedics jumped out of an ambulance and wheeled a gurney over to her side and lowered it to the ground, and all the men grabbed a hold of her hands and feet and heaved her onto it, and a paramedic dropped an oxygen mask over her mouth and nose. And as he did this, she gasped with the shock of it as a strange pressure bore down upon her nose and lips, while the second paramedic wrapped a blood pressure cuff around her right arm, and she sensed and saw the indentation squeezing her arm as the invisible cuff tightened. Her skin bulged up around the edge of the invisible cuff as it compressed, and at first, nothing. Wait, what's happening? Then slowly, ever so slowly, the blood pressure cuff loosened. At first, nothing. Absolute silence. Then, wait a moment. Wait. She sensed it. A heartbeat. A second heartbeat. The steady and methodical heartbeat started up and heartbeats thudded in her ears as the blood pressure cuff released and her blood flowed through her veins again. My heart yet beats. Satisfied that they'd stabilized her, the paramedics unlocked the metal spindles to lift the gurney back to chest level. And then they pushed it across the flagstones and over to the back of the ambulance with her body strapped tight to it. They hoisted the gurney with her in it into the back of the ambulance. The ambulance lights and sirens started up. My heart is still pumping. I hope that's a good sign. She looked up hopefully at Lady Venus to see her reaction, but Lady Venus gazed silently out at the scene. Oh, will you look at that? Oh, people can be so good. A woman held Madeline's handbag out in front of her. She approached the ambulance and pressed it into the hands of the paramedic standing at the back door. He thanked her and put the handbag into the back of the ambulance. The woman noticed the walker and hurried over to grab it. The paramedic climbed up inside the ambulance and slammed the door shut. In the next moment, the ambulance pulled away from the curb with the siren whining. Madeline closed her eyes into the blessed stillness of her soul. She was inside the ambulance now with the paramedics perched on either side of her, silent, watchful. They glanced silently at one another over her corpse. Look, Madeline, Lady Venus said. Maddie opened her eyes and saw the woman place her hands onto the walker handrails then looked up and saw that she'd moved too late. Oh dear, that was my mother's walker. She gave it to me. 
I wonder what will happen to the walker, Maddie asked. Oh, what do you care? Lady Venus said with a negligent wave of her massive hand. You're dead anyway. You don't need it anymore. Stung, Maddie looked away as tears filled her throat. It was the first truly unkind thing Lady Venus had said to her. And then she thought on it a little more. She's only just come back to life after all. I need to give her time to adjust. All right then, Lady Venus said, off we go. Where to? Madeline asked. You'll see. With Madeline ensconced in her arms, Lady Venus took first one step out of the fountain, then a second. And as she climbed out of the fountain and walked across the flagstones, Madeline noticed the young girl who'd performed the chest compressions. The young girl whirled around in astonishment and gazed directly into Madeline's eyes. She sees me. Nobody else revealed the least bit of interest in the fountain. Everyone was still excited by the ambulance and the drama of a woman drowning. How was it possible for all these people to fail to notice the strange and mystical apparition right in front of them, while one person alone did notice? The young girl's eyes widened, first with surprise, then amazement. A tiny smile pulled at the corners of her mouth. She raised her hand and waved and Lady Venus lifted one free hand and waved back. How does she see us? Madeline asked. Lady Venus did not answer. She kept a stone face. 